You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're now going to be joined on the phone with Jane and uh, it's all part of our regular monthly update for Ideas Test. Uh, Jane, firstly, thank you very much for talking to us once again. It's a pleasure. Thanks for inviting us. So I was hoping you could let us know what's going to be happening over the next month, Ideas Test, Swirl and Medway. Well, as we go from the gorgeous, warm, extra hot Indian summer we've had into a slightly soggy uh, um, I think we've got some, some atmospheric, uh, very swale-based stuff happening at number 34 High Street, Sittingbourne. Um, the, our, we've got a changeover in the exhibition spaces downstairs, uh, in the window gallery mainly, and, uh, and, and also showing on the screen. We'll have artist John Dargan, who will be showing his distinctive drawings of the Iron Wharf boatyard at Faversham. Um, from his time in residence there, and he'll be showing films alongside that, which include new film work from the North Kent Marshes, all about the Cotton Powder Company. And John's work is very concerned with the landscape and the space around it, and looking at ideas of ownership, history, and use of the space. So it'll definitely be um, an interesting one for, for, for people from the area. And that runs right through October to the 29th. Um, people can come in any time, Tuesday to Saturday. We're open Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. And on Saturdays, we're open 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. But we also have other things happening while that's on. Um, we will have had fun palaces on Saturday. Um there's also Ideas Tessa supporting stuff, ha stuff Happens Here, which is for young people on the Isle of Sheppey, 18 to 24 years old. It's a contemporary art organisation, which will be in Ali, are making collaborative work with artists, designers and filmmakers to develop practical and creativity, learning and organising. Um, and that will be on the first Tuesday month in Sheerness. So this month, October the 4th, they'll be joined by artist Sam Curtis. So if anyone's interested in that, check out Facebook page, which is Sheppy Young Programmers, or they can go to the Whitstable Biennale page uh, and look, at, look for Stuff Happens Here. I'm back at number 34 on High Street in Sittingbourne. Swell Film Society are yet again presenting a classic, amazing film this month inspired by the spookiness of October and our inevitable fall into autumn and winter. They're showing the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. So that's kind of probably one of the first true horror film. It's a 1920s silent black and white film about an insane hypnotist who uses a somnambulist, a sleepwalker, to, um, let me just remind myself, to strike fear into the town of Holston Mall. Um, it's a, an actually classic of um, expressionist cinema, and it features distinctive dark and twisted visual style that sends shivers up your spine. So come along and experience the original horror film that influenced so many others in in the genre. So that's Wednesday the 4th of October at 7pm. It's free. We do welcome donations to keep the programme going. But, you know, it's free and donate what you can. So that's just from the first film society. And then the following Saturday, October the 8th, 11am till 1pm, uh, We'll be doing a, having a workshop from John Dargan, the current exhibition artist, and he's leading a very, very interesting free animation workshop at number 34. He will be uh, showing people how to work directly onto film, so that's celluloid film. So this is quite an analogue workshop, um, scratching into or painting onto film to create an animation, which you can then view um, during the afternoon. So come for just a little while or come for the whole session. It's absolutely up to you. 
And then outside of number 34, applause were all t- touring, presenting Gilbert No Sullivan by the Foundry Group. So that's on the 21st of October at 7.30 in Rodmersham Village Hall. Um, and that's uh, sitting on ME9. But to go back to the spooky, <laughs> the spookiness of October, uh, we're running a ghost story drop-in at number 34. Um, our resident writer, Jade, and I, actually, she's roped me in on this one, are going to be uh, helping people to write spooky ghost stories. So if there's something strange in your neighbourhood, who are you going to call? Call, call number 34. And um, write some spooky, spooky ghost stories just in time for Halloween. They bring the whole family down for some fun free writing activities. You can write your own spooky short story or contribute a sentence or two to our creepy chronicles so write about vampires and zombies and give people a scare and then of course we have the final in the series of three locker conversations um and for that's on thursday october the 27th where the hand of stabs who are a iconic group from medway who make incredible music using experimental instruments and electronics um, very much about history and um, site specific work made uniquely in each place um, and they'll be they'll be working with the Locker Ensemble who are opera activists Tanya Holland-Williams and um, her other classically trained singers and musicians so that's an opportunity to come and experience some very diverse music in the same space and be part of helping create um, a an improvised bit of music at the end. So if you don't know Hand of Stabs, BBC Music presenter Stuart McConey describes them as progressive pagan skiffle. It's a creepy and brilliant thing. So again, perfect for October. And that's our October. Actually, no, it isn't. I've got I've rushed ahead there because we will be ending October. We've got half term of the last week of October. And we will be doing a workshop where people can come and make bats and other Halloween decorations just in time of Halloween. So you will have made your ghost story on the 22nd. And then on the 29th, come and make some bats and make some beamers, some bat beamers. So bring along a torch or we'll have some torches as well. So you can create um, spooky silhouettes that you can project onto walls and take around with you and generally make a spooky thing. Well, that's that's, uh, that's October. I was going to say, it's certainly a, a busy month for you once again. I think it seems to be busy every month, doesn't it, Daniel? <laughs> Which is uh, really good, I think, really good. Yeah. Uh, how can our listeners find out uh, more about what's happening at Ideas Test? Well, if they go to our website, which is Ideas Test, so it's all one word, so I-D-E-A-S-T-E-S-T dot org, that's O-R-G dot U-K, and then go to our What's On section and they'll see everything listed that's happening at number 34 and wider across Medway and Swell, projects that we're involved in or supporting. Um, And there's also extra little bits of blogs that, um, again, Jade, our our fantastic um, in-house writer, um, people are starting to do some reviews. Um, We've got a young reviewers group, actually, that people um, are invited to join. So there's some information on the website on where it says recent blog posts. And a survey that obviously helps us to keep doing all this stuff and keep the program full. If the people take part in our survey, then that helps us to 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 to, to carry on and continue. Well, Jane, as always, I'd like to thank you very much for letting us know what's happening over the next month, and of course, we look forward to uh, speaking to you again in a, a month's time. Brilliant. Look forward to that. <laughs>